Uh, by going, your uh, bars and aura should be visible. Same thing with Sai Hong. Get that snake away from Lucas. Yes. There you go. Now Lucas is riding the other cow. Well, as long as Colorado doesn't show up, we won't have any issues, I think. Oh, no! Oh, yes. I had to move yes. the snake out of the way. Okay, so you, let's you've taken uh, You've taken Wyoming's place as Lucas's mount. Okay. So, uh, this is the party that will start it, including the main deer. <laughs> All, alternate universe sky well, alternate universe lily give me a second to uh to change all these walls in animantium so they can withstand at least one cannon blast Vixen, we, look, you're, you're saved she, she rescued oh, me okay <laughs> let's let's turn around we're done here <laughs> let's see here uh benson is not part of this goodbye benson no she'd be in purgatory right now uh no isn't here either i'm <laughs> no, no, he's no. not in purgatory. <laughs> <laughs> and then we say that. There we go. And then here. Okay, that's all done. He's far from purgatory. Uh oh. He did. He's in Pegasus Heaven. <laughs> Mommy, where do Pegasus go when they die? In the ground. They go, <gasps> the, they go to the... Hey, hey. Just remember, why are there two Lucases? What, what is it? Or Lucasi? Lucasin? Lucas? Where? Lucai. Oh, because one of my thing glitched. Uh, I actually don't see any Lucases, but I'm zoomed in. So. Uh, it's top left. I chose them now. Yep. It's like double. Ah! <laughs> it's like heaven for Lily. They shall all surround. <laughs> the Lucas Swarm shall surround their queen. Right. Something's <laughs> going on in this corner. I know the way. They, they, she knows the way. <laughs> she does know the way. <laughs> you don't know. Can Lucas make clucking noises with his tongue? Oh wait. <laughs> he has no tongue. He has to click his claws. He, he goes like... <laughs> yep, that's uh... What the... Anyways, yep, that's uh... That, that's, that's the session thus far right there. So how impatient is Baguan getting? He's, um, he's already ringing the doorbell. <laughs> make, a, for the, make an insight check. For the sake of uh, time's sake, why don't we go ahead and worry about bars after the session. Sit down and... Uh... Or never mind. I'm dumb and my... Um, Thing didn't update properly. Okay. He's, is that is that Bai Guang's threat aura? He, that's his uh, the heat given off by his impatience. <laughs> it's getting hot in here. I don't know. My thirteen uh, my thirteen insight says it's uh, he's he's pretty good. It's pretty All chilling. right, <laughs> let's go ahead and get started, shall we? Um, I suspect that uh, I suspect there's some party members who are eager to get to it. Yeah, I don't know. Someone's already at the door. So let's, uh, if you haven't started, if you haven't started recording yet, let's go ahead and get that recording started. Uh, welcome everybody out. It's been a couple weeks. Good to be back. Hooray. And, um, to set the scene, because why not? The group has recently learned that Vixen was kidnapped by a crime syndicate by the name of the Sisters Grom. After navigating through the burrows, aka the ghetto, they, in talking to a series of unfortunate individuals, or individuals in unfortunate circumstances, depending on your viewpoint, they've managed to find themselves to what appears to be an abandoned manor house, told that this is where Vixen has been taken. From a source that is probably reliable. Also, we should probably remove um, Mega Deer. Oh, that's what that is. I was just, I just saw shapes. I couldn't. 
couldn't tell that they were forming something. Yes. <laughs> Probably because it was green on green. Omega oh, dear, you shall live on in our hearts. All, we, all we need to explain is you should have fed it over 20 ice sprites and their gold nodes at the same time. <laughs> and since you didn't, that's why, yeah. Mega Deer gets confused from time to time and accidentally, you know, thinks that ice sprites are gold notes and gold notes are ice sprites. But that's beside the point. Um, alright, so the proverbial balls in your court, as you approach, it appears dilapidated, uh, rather unfortunate looking establishment. It's got some boarded up windows, some of uh, the upper, other windows appear to be broken. The structure itself is... Yeah, two stories high. And I think that's good for description. So, what do you guys do? I Man. feel like Bai Guang is expecting Sai to stop him if he tries to rush in. But Sai Hong is going in to peer inside the windows. I see Sai Hong is indeed over there. Right, I'm assuming let's... that's a window. Yes, that is indeed a window. Uh, does Sai Hong have any special vision thingies? Uh, I think blind sense for 10 feet, but that's it. Okay. Then we will go ahead and say... Cause it's, it is current... Oh yeah, it's like 4 in the morning presently. Uh, just just to be safe, Bai Guang, or uh, rather Sai Hong, is going to flit up there uh, sneakily. In that case, we're going to go ahead and reveal. Sion doesn't see you very much. Sion doesn't see much into the window on account of it, well, it being dark. Gotcha. And twice as large as it's supposed to be. But you can at least report that there's no lights on. There appears to be no source of illumination inside. Oh boy, my specialty. What about over here? She wonders. Your specialty, time to light the place in, up. In Snake. I'm oh, sorry, you want me to light it up? No. Uh, I, I do. I light don't know. There we go. Okay. Uh, it, appears that, it appears that this window is up a little bit higher and leads into was some sort of room that's a bit higher than the one that's over uh -huh. here. But you don't see any particular details upon glancing inside. Uh, Bai, Bai Guang tells the others that uh, Sai Hong sees no lights on inside so far. Okay. All right. Yeah. Mind if I check? Uh, also gonna check this one down. Yeah, that one Zion nearly that follows Corvine, but then stops and looks over to Baiguan. Now you go alone. I'll hmm? go. Who goes alone? Yeah, who are you? Who are you talking to? Corvine. Corvine. Okay, just making sure. I'll, I'll look after after Baiguan. You. Mm. Uh, don't worry, don't worry. I'll I'll help you out, but just gotta wait for just a bit. All right, give me a perception check, would you, uh, Corvin? Okay. Um, I believe this is how far I can see. Wondering. If you will look after him, I will check the other side. I have my word. Okay. And that's what Sai will do. She will, instead of checking up there, she will go around. Okay. And as she goes, uh, check the windows. All right. I'll get Though she's here. gonna, she's also going to do that stealthily because great stealth. I'll get to you in just one. Oh, minute. I should probably do sneak as well. <laughs> Good sneak. As long as nobody's awake. There we go. That's about as far as you can see. It appears to it appears to go into what appears 
It, it appears, it appears, it appears. It appears. It appears that the appearance is of a larger room. Perhaps a... Uh... Oh, what's the word I'm looking for? When you go into a house and it's like the... A foyer? The, An the main... antechamber? I'll get my aura up here. Like when you walk through the front door, it's like the biggest room in the house, you know? Foyer, I guess. <laughs> the li- the, uh, the I don't know the living room, the sitting room. Um, I mean some some of the, the some nicer, and some nicer houses. When you walk in, ah! essentially it's the uh, nor the foyer. The point is the point is it's clear it's clear that it's a large room of some kind. You don't really see much by way of furniture in your limited view. Okay, so the first thing I said. Sneak, sneak, sneak. This one's a, a bit higher. You're going to have to climb gonna... up a little bit to uh, look into it. So give me an athletics check and don't fumble. Well, conveniently, I think Corvine might have an alternative, but... That works too? Oh, oh well. right, yes, because flight. Um, all right, go ahead and give me a perception. <laughs> I can't even see it yet. Oh, there we you go. You see the world. Um, this is very interesting. Uh, okay. So, all right. Um, hmm. He sees Vixen and opens the window to let her out. And she comes galloping gaily out, whistling a happy tune. No. Yay. Perfect. They'll have a gay old time. All right. So you pop in, and you look, and you see what appears to be a small little room with a staircase leading up into it. But you notice something. You notice two things in this room because you freaking crit. <laughs> um, you notice what appears to be hidden and tucked away in one of the corners. This one over here. A lantern of some kind. Someone seems to have taken the effort to conceal its location, and they've done so with great care. But that's not all. You notice that right over here appears to be a a relatively well-hidden tripwire. Okay. Oh, and on top of that, you notice in the ceiling of this room what appears to be small, uh, a few small little holes carefully placed. I see. Give me a... Right. Memory is not based off of wisdom. Um, Oh, it is not. Learning. Intelligence. Yes, give me intelligence or history, I suppose. Or history? Okay. Yes. Oops. Right, well, great. the heck with history. Uh, Who needs history's for nerds. Okay, well, <laughs> I'll tell you exactly what this is. It's a flipping gas trap. This oh, yeah. room is rigged with a gas trap. Uh, you know gas trap oh. when you see one. You've come across them from time to time. And what? this room has one. And that's exactly what that tripwire is. The idea is you go in, and usually usually there's like a door or something that shuts and then fills the room with gas. Okay. So I'm assuming the window can open then. The door the window appears to be jammed shut. You'd have to break it in order to uh to get in. Okay. Hey, while you're doing that, Sae. Hi. Uh, now you said you were making your way around the house, correct? Yes. Okay, and you want and you wanted to look into the various windows you passed. Uh, the, the various windows that aren't in Corvine's direction. All right. This window. Now, like, I do. I have uh, dark vision, so a bit longer sight. Gotcha. Um. This window is boarded up, so there's nothing much to see there. 
Fun. This one over here is perception check. Wait, which one over where? Sorry. Oh. Yeah, I'm I'm zoomed super far out on my uh, on my I'm not. account. Okay, then we're going to do reveal areas. Oh. Wait, no. No, stop lies, lies, lies and slander. Okay. Let's see here. Do you know? Uh, the range of your the range of your dark side isn't uh, indicated, is it? Uh, dark. It's dark vision, so it's uh, sixty feet. Okay. So that's it's twelve squares. Twelve squares. Thank you. Actually, would you mind giving yourself an aura like what? Um, I, I tried, but it was it was too bright. So I'll just put it back on real quick. Well, then yeah. just make well, it a different color. No, go with the same color Corvine did, which was a, a oh, deep I did blue. blue. I like that. Uh, die. I like that color. It uh, it wasn't like horrifying to look at. Well, here, work with this for now. I'll change the color. As blue as blue as possible. All right. Um, right. This is not click and drag. This is click, click, click. Um, down through the chimney. Click, click. Wait, uh, no, it's on the rooftop. Click, click, click. And then go ahead and reveal this just a little bit. It's whatever I want. More here. There we go. Okay. It appears. It appears this room is. This room is also somewhat elevated, and beyond it, you see what appears to be some sort of maybe an antechamber, um, bedroom, something. The flooring is, as you can see, very different than the rest of it. It appears to be made of wood as opposed to rather large tiles. Or at this, uh, this measure, you're almost giant stone slabs. Hmm. Oh, silly me. I forgot an important a little detail. Uh, this house was at one point extraordinarily nice. Those are marble floors you're looking at. Ooh. I could tell. Okay. Uh, beyond what you see, there's not much else. You don't spot anything. Like, Wait, is, so there's a second floor to this building, right? There, there is. There's even a roof. Are there windows? Um, are there sunroofs? <laughs> yes, are there sunroofs? Uh, skylights, well, as it were. I think you fly up and take a look. <laughs> um, but yes, there appears to be there does indeed appear to be windows on the second story. Although weirdly enough, there are, no. when you approach the house, you could tell that there was a window on there was a what looks to be something between a window or perhaps a a glass doorway. <laughs> on the side of the house facing you guys. And then since you're where you are, Corvine, looking up, you see there's another, there appears to be another window above you. And then over on Sae's side, uh... Oh, that's an important part of description, isn't it? Um, what's the word for that? Deck? No. Patio? Balcony? There's actually there's a wooden walkway built around the around the about half of the second story. I'm gonna go ahead and reveal it for so I'm not sitting here going crazy trying to describe this blasted thing. Terrace? If you go up on the map, 
or I guess north if you want to use cardinal directions. Ooh. So wait, is this like a walkway outside the building? Yes. That is, okay. that is part of the second story. Yes. Fancy. I'm... See how that looks. Okay, that's pretty good. I'm, I'm content with that. So that's it. Uh, sorry, is there anything else you're doing? I think porch is the word I'm looking for, actually. Yeah. Yeah. So it's there's a, a large, there's a nice, there's a large wooden porch wrapping around about half the building. Since she can't find anything else, she's going to head back and hope she can convene with the others and Corvin to figure out what to do next. Oh, it, you know, we'll, veranda. Yes, there's a nice veranda. This is a fancy place. <laughs> Was. Was at one point. Still is. Hey, a little TLC. No, um, Lily would live here. Yeah, she would. In the eyes of rain, we do not approve of such a place anymore. Uh, hey, get me, back here. Hold on, let me install an attic here just for you. <laughs> so, uh, I suppose you guys have reconvened then. Sai, the you're so full. By the way, while Corvine and Sai were investigating the house, was there anything anybody else was doing in the group? I was performing an unseen servant ritual, as noted. He was uh, summoning Unseen. Yep, we're going to anyway. go ahead and... You guys, get, you guys get to see this, because has Corvine it, found it. Has it been long enough uh, to finish a ritual? I will say, yeah. I mean, how long does your ritual take? Ten minutes. Ten minutes? All right, yeah. Yay! What? What? I'm Cena. I will say I wasn't expecting that. Okay, then. Um, we need to put velvet over that. <laughs> you need to put velvet over it. All right, so... Uh, anyway... <laughs> So yes, when Corbin and Saya get back, you have finished your Unseen Servant. Um, Danny, is there anything in particular you wanted to do? Unseen Servant, thank you. Was there anything you wanted to do while all this was going on? And Amber, was there anything you wanted to do while? Mm, no, I just want to... I just want to go over the plan. Okay. Well, well... We could check the second floor and maybe even enter from there, but... It's possible that they may be expecting us there. Mm-hmm. Because they know about you. Me? No, uh, she's talking to Black One. Hmm. I was suggesting I... we... Oh, go ahead. I was suggesting we split, we, uh, split up. Uh, party. Saye... Co- Sai and Corvine go going with uh, Sai Hong, and me and me and Bai Guang and Amber all going as a group. And Sai Hong can relay to Bai Guang what happens with the other group. Mm-hmm. Letting up hmm. in a narrow corridor that actually might work, but. Uh, I am not picky how we go about this, so long as we go about it. This is ground that we are dealing with. So, uh, which group is going where, though? Well, that's... Hmm. What do you think? Look, I am still unsure of this plan, but if you are confident... We will try this. However, if this falls through, I swear, I will not follow one of your plans again. Understood. Trust me on this. It's, it'll be fine. I believe 
Perhaps we should take the second floor. Uh, say. She nods. Oh, and before I forget, uh, the room with stairs and a window back there uh, has a tripwire. Make sure not to trip it, because otherwise you may suffocate. Her <laughs> posture just rolls her eyes. Typical. Is green. Why is it green? Uh, because crits. It's green because that's the color it is on the DM move on the DM map. Oh. It's because crits. It's good crits. And as Bygone mentioned, not only was there a lantern, great pains were taken to hide that lantern, as in it was deliberately hidden. Oh, right. Um, also, oh, there's a God. lantern that seems peculiar in that room. If you're careful, you could retrieve it. What kind of trap was it again? Gas. Trip I have trap. The moment the lantern is lit, while the gas is in the room, boom. But wouldn't that blow up the rest of the house, too? Or at least do some collateral damage? So if like the time anyone gets there, there, they will either have died off or have made their escape. But uh, that doesn't make much sense. The lantern wasn't lit. Yet. So is that how this smart runs this? Is that how they didn't set this up? I don't know. She just turns toward everyone else. And what collection do you plan on heading in? Let's see. Clearly not the front. Uh, it sounded like there were two other ways in that were not boarded up on the ground level. Perhaps the uh, entrance down where Sae was looking. The window, anyway. Uh, the window that I found that wasn't boarded uh, was on the second floor, if I recall. Oh, this actually is over here. This one down here. So wait, I just realized it was on the second floor. I assume it wouldn't be on this quadrant of the map. Correct. So wait, it's a it's a room with a gas trap, right? Mm-hmm. And it's got a window. Mm-hmm. Uh, that sounds like an inefficient place to put yeah, a gas. Who, who designed it? <laughs> Don't worry about it. It's fast acting. Knockout gas. And so all you have to do is break the window and then the gas escapes. Especially if you used the window to get in. Yes. Then you don't even have to do that much. Well, the ones that you know... Not all their the lackeys that... are smart. The thing is, the one that will break in through the window is also the one that will make the gas explode just by being near it. <laughs> That's only assuming the gas is explosive, which is a possibility. So, uh, yes. so if I... Uh, if I understand correctly, the, the plan at the moment is for Corvine, Sai, and Sai Hong to head upstairs, and Dandy... Dandy... Not Longma... By Guang and Amber to go downstairs. Is that correct? And Unseena. <laughs> Unseena Unseen should just take a third path, honestly. I don't um, think he can. I'm not can sure. Uh, I believe it's a certain distance from the caster. He has to be within 60 feet and can't exactly exert a lot of force to break down a window. Oh. Plus, I'm not sure he can make his own decision. So. Yeah. He can be As ordered he... to do a task. As a side note, Saya, how will you get up to the second story from the outside? 
A um, piggyback ride. Acrobatics. Yeah. Fair enough. Well, there's acrobatics, and then there's also we've already had Corvine Carrier once already. This is true. Carrier oh, yes, this is true. Yes, we'll do that. The wall of Bob. Yes, that, that totally happened. So, yeah, we'll That's do that. It's easier than taking a chance. All right, so you guys are going to go. So, uh, you guys are going to go ahead and split up? But just remember, guys, never split the party. Indeed. Unless oh, you're splitting the party. party. All right, so. Um, uh, any objections to the other group going down to the uh, southern window? Uh, Corvine's going to remind them that uh, being quiet is possibly important. Because it doesn't seem like they know we're here. <laughs> not necessarily saying not to go through the window, but just saying well, don't I mean, shatter have, the window. If we possible. have a rogue with us, so we should right. be fine. This is a stealth mission, Snake. No oh, too much. <laughs> oh. You see, no, so I'm always going to start asking for. Uh, Snaky snacks. <laughs> All right, King, let's play. It isn't no Sai Hong would uh, get the snaky snacks. Uh, is it Sai Hong? I thought it said Sai Hong. Oh, point is, he is said I need to know. They both. I need One to know. Bag idiot, me. How the how the different groups are getting into that? As long oh. as they don't employ a snake eater. You have our answer, so uh, they're next. I mean, I propose. Let's just go down the the other window. That I was going to say, Amber can probably give me the window. Okay, so if we're not rolling, then for flying, then. I mean, I don't know what. Uh, there is a chimney, but it's um. Danny might fit down it. Yeah, but there's windows. Uh, escape artist isn't even a skill in the system. Well, it's just your your tip. The sheep, Danny might fit because he's a sheep, and sheep are or small. Um, now, if you had a Santa costume, then I, I couldn't I couldn't argue that. At that point, I'd just be out of luck. You have a disguise Santa. kit. Make a Santa costume. <laughs> <laughs> I was kidding. Anyway, all right. So the group on the ground. So the group on the ground is going to the southern window, correct? If there's no objections. All right, let's go. There were only right. suggestions, not uh, objections. And then for the group going up top, I I went in. Which help? help I'm in the place. For the group on top, I the which house. part of the um? Where are you going? So you're gonna land in the corner there. Yeah, we're gonna land on the balcony. Okie dokie. Let's uh, go ahead and you want to call it. Let's do let's start with oh, the, going. Let's go with the uh, ground group movement. Since we started the session on um Corvine a lot of Corvine and Sae, let's shift gears to the team for a short while. I just put the thing based on vision. Amber, where are you going? Amber, come back. I mean, if you want to go through the front door, Amber, you're certainly free to do so. Here's the rest of your party has decided to go through the southern window. Hey. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, um, okay. I was pointing you down there. I just saw Amber shoot through the, the other boarded up window. <laughs> I was confused. <laughs> Somebody wants to. Yeah, well, it turns out Amber is actually the crazy man. Boom! Oh, yeah! Oh my god. Are you sure about that? I am now. Do 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 do. Alright. So you have a I don't think they're gonna help you much. So you're at the southern window and it's elevated a bit. You're gonna have to uh For those of you who can't fly, you're gonna have to scramble up there. So the question is, is um what are you gonna do about that window? Oh, us? 
Yes, and yeah. Yeah. Open, we shall you. open it. If it if it needs to be jimmied, uh, Amber can like stand on Bai Guang's back or something. Yes. Oh. But that's not a good idea. Stand on. It does yes, appear the window doesn't want to open. You're gonna have to uh, find some uh, way of opening other than just you know, sliding it open. Perhaps a slide a hand check. Well, that sounds like a good idea. Amber, you have a slide of hand, don't you? Give us a slide of hoof check, would you? No. Be slide of hoof or just just a thief uh, thief's tool. I don't even have slide of hand. <laughs> oh, but that's you, true. You at least have to sample. But the can you make a slide of hoof for... check? Yes, slide of hoof, please. I feel. I am sorry to tell you that you're not able to get the uh, window open. In fact, you rattled it just a little bit in your attempts to do so. Not like earth shattering, but you definitely made a little bit of noise. Uh oh. Uh, can I help her a bit? Um. Well, you can make one yourself, or you can um, aid her so she'll have advantage on the next attempt. All right. Uh, I will. I'll I'll give her advantage. All right. Actually, no. I'll give her. I'll give her uh, Barbic Inspiration and advantage. Can't oh, fail. This is this is true. This is what you can do. So go ahead and uh, roll again with advantage. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll, it has to be really quiet, though. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I pull out my. Uh, I pull out my lyre and and just like tickle the tickle the oh, strings. No. If if I had the bard sounds uploaded, this would be a perfect time to play them. Yeah. Perhaps uh perhaps some other day. Oh <laughs> Well then. All you okay, you don't, you don't that, need that uh bardic inspiration. We you can, can save it. that for later. Um, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, also, I, I could be giving guidance, but I I'll remember that the next time we need it. Silly you, all she needed to do was this. And the door and the, the window opens silently. <laughs> she, thought it, she thought it was a different style of lock, but she got it this time. It was just simple. All right. I've broken this a thousand times. Easy peasy, nice. And, nice and, then, you, and then you hear down the hall, hmm, must be the wind. <laughs> that was the wind. Wait, hold up. When these tools proficiency give advantage with opening that lock? In the first uh, place, it wouldn't be advantage. The tool's proficiency just is another. Yeah, proficiency, proficiency is a proficiency, not advantage. Yeah. And it, and one of those thieves' tools is allows you to use it like if you want to use thieves' tools for other things, like say forging a signature. Oh right, okay. Well, I, I'm, well, I'm messing it up. I'm messing that, it up. That would be a for, no. forging a signature would be a forgery kit. Well, you get my point. The point yeah. is, is yeah. the point is that kids are kind of like. I'm still tired. Tools, yes. Tools that exist outside but the the tools. tools are explicitly for like opening locks. Um, and things fact, of that. Book. Probably doesn't fit into that, but I'm using English because I'm a traditionalist. Anyways, point is the the windows open as silent as could be. And you guys, will go, you guys, go ahead and clamber in there. In fact, I'm not going to make you roll acrobatic check to climb in. Somehow, some way that crit just made everything easy for you guys. Yeah. It's a file, a lock picks, a mirror, uh, bladed <laughs> pizza from a pair of fire. <laughs> Perfect. Well, well done, pizza. Well done. So I still don't get detected. Um. Okay. So how are you guys doing lighting? Because I recall correctly, none of you have the ability to see in the dark. That's why I split them. Let's see. Because I know I was expecting Bai Guang to light it up, and I can't see without it, and uh, the other two could, so it's like perfect. Well, Bai Guang is a living source of light if, if he wants to use it. That's why I'm basically asking. The question is: Is Bai Guang um, are you living in the area, and if so, how big is the how big is the passion? Has torches, I recall. And if we want. If anybody sees the light, we can really confuse them by having Unseena carry the light. <laughs> <laughs> they won't know we're here. They'll know something's up, but they won't know where we are. Yes, just have him carry the light, and then have him rush through and follow people. 
This is true. <laughs> this is a thing. Oh, okay, who is able to carry Baiguang? Danny, oh, right. Danny. Danny. Danny, uh, just add Baiguang to your inventory. No. <laughs> Come on, Baiguang, let's go. No, no, you need to add him to your equipment. That's the, that's the difference. You yeah, wear him. <laughs> Uh, okay, okay. <laughs> making his scarves. Okay. Okay, bye, Guan. Now make a sexy pose on on my back. But the real question is again: who is what's the illumination? I need to know just so I know how big the area is. Let's see. It's twenty feet bright, twenty feet dim. I'll add that to Unseena. So let's see. That's ten squares total. No. Yeah. yeah. Wait. No. It's what was it? What was the range again? Uh, 20, 20 and right, 20. and then 20 dim past that, that's, so 40. That's 8 total. That's 8 total. 4 and 4. Let me, let me adjust my light source then. That's what it is. Okay, good. Oh. And nobody else sees it, Ooh. but that's fine. Oh, right. So now there's, there's just a floating torch. All right. Okay. Let me let me confirm how fast the unseen servant can move. Uh, Fifteen feet around. Okay. Can the unseen servant uh, speak to you? I.e., like when it sees things. I don't believe it has any form of communication. Okay. Yeah. It just fetches and carries and performs simple tasks. It is undetectable, essentially, by any sense. Invisible, mindless, shapeless force. So, I'm keeping it as a sacrifice. As you know. Oh yeah, an unseen server can't even be stabbed, right? And it can only be blown up by fireballs. Uh, it has AC 10 and one hit point. Oh, so it can be yeah. stabbed. If, if um, you know remember that Elder Scrolls uh, campaign, I actually did have an unseen servant block uh, blow and sacrifice itself for me. Okay. I don't know, nice. that's hilarious. Um, but yes, so where are you guys going? Let's see. Uh, do these <laughs> stairs lead up, or are they going down to a basement? They are going down. Yes. Even though, but, uh, even though it, it literally indicates they're going up. <laughs> the, the real question is, if a uh, unseen servant has to make death rolls... Because remember, the... The, the the window itself was elevated. Like one of the other windows was closer to the ground level. This one is elevated up higher. It's almost like a half a story up. So the room you're currently in is a little bit tight. It's it's a little bit lower than normal. Okay. And I sus I suspect you're leading this show, Bai Guang. So. Uh, well, do he's he's whispering to the others. Do we want to head toward the second story to meet up with the others and pincer anybody in our path? Sounds like a plan. All right. Seems to elevate to be these stairs seem to be going up where we need to. He's gonna illuminate up here and peer around the corner himself. Pirouette around the corner. Also that. I guess if you're looking all the way around the corner, I can stop being stingy and just do this. He tumbles past the, past the passage to get to the other side. Oh, need to reveal more of the... Wall. There you go. Tripwire. I'm I'm revealing the information based upon Baiguang's position, not the unseen servant. Just as a heads up, since you mentioned that the unseen servant can't reveal information to you uh, directly, right? And then we'll go ahead and do this for simplicity's sake. And it appears this room was at one point fairly heavily used. Uh, you think you can see where a bed once was and perhaps some places where furniture used to be, but now this room is empty and in a sad state of decay. 
and there are no doors out of it. No, it appears just to be. Uh... I check for secret doors around around this spot. All right, go ahead and give me a. Perception. Hmm. Well, in... invest. Investigation. Perception is, is looking at things in the bigger scheme, and investigation is the smaller, but you picked a specific area, so yeah. Investigation, please. All right, you examine, the, you examine the area thoroughly, and you come to the conclusion that at one point this was apparently some sort of... Um, 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 such a fun word. Indeed. This was a bedroom and probably a servant's bedroom, judging by the shape and size of the various things in here. But you don't find anything secret. John Deere. That's horrifying. A uh, Baiguang will make the same check up in this little crevasse up here. All right, go for it. With his plus zero. Well. Well, well I uh, I must inform you that you do not find anything. That's a shame. Well, oh, looks like someone has my issues. There was once. You can see essentially like if you ever been to a room where there was furniture in a position for a really long time and then it was removed, it sort of leaves almost like an imprint behind. But there is like. no furniture presently. Like some areas Hello? of the floor and wall are more sun bleached sure. than others. Bleach. Don't do bleach, kids. So that, so that appears to be, uh, like I said, it's a fairly decrepit room. Doesn't seem to be much else here. Doesn't seem to be, but my character doesn't know any better. <laughs> And then you will reassure him that it seems clear. Uh, you know what? Yeah, you can make an investigation or history check, whichever you want. And while Amber is making that check, are you guys... Is there anything else you're doing in the... I'm heading up them stairs. Well, down them stairs. Uh, down them stairs. You determined that most of the furniture that was here is sort of the stuff you would find in a bedroom of someone who didn't have a lot of cash. Like small, you know, like a small bed, small dressers, that's what I was looking for. Uh, a table was obviously shoved up and over here. You think you see a little damage on the walls here and there where furniture might have been bumped or scraped or whatever have you. So this appears to have been a living quarter at one point. But I could pie by someone or some ones for that matter that didn't have a lot of disposable income. Perhaps servant quarters for all we know. It feels it feels kind of like a servant's or if you want to stretch far enough back in history, a slave's quarter. Ah. All right, so um As you move there, I will reveal this. <laughs> it appears there's a second staircase that goes down a little bit. And, you know, leads into, there's another room over yonder and a hallway. So much easier than having to like describe it all in thorough detail. So the see around this corner. All right. Mom, I'm seeing it. I think do your magic. There we go. I gotta remember. I have to remember to reveal the walls. That's, that's an important part. <laughs> oh, sorry. And then uh, you would see. Moving over here, not stealthing at all because I'm, I'm okay. It's good. 
You're an ordinary deer. This appears to be in a simple room. There's a table and a single chair. Both of them are in bad shape. Uh, the chair is a key item, right? Exactly. Always. He's got the right idea. The chair yes. is a key item. Yes, Pizza's okay. got it. All right, uh, if you want to delete it, I'm not going to it. It'll be important. Uh, we might need it later. Just remember, it's a, it's a big chair. It's so, a big chair that, it's a, that we'll need later. Like All right. Um. <sighs> Okay, a dandy, move back a little bit, would you? As the servant, as the unseen servant walks uh, walks over here, um, a sudden a sudden surge of magic fills the hallway, and there's not it's. it's it's almost as if there's a flash of light with the without the light. Almost as if something hit you really hard and out of surprise. I don't um, tend to think that light hits me hard. Well, it's hard light. Well, clearly you've never turned on a cell phone well, right after you woke we're up. We're both frozen in time here. Um, it's okay. harder than a, than an everyone tag. Yes, yes, it's harder than Holy it's harder. shoot! It can't be that hard! Alright. Um, Dandy and Amber, you guys are within sight of this. I need both of you to make a intelligence save. Oh no. What? Hey, you said Dandy and Amber? Yeah, Danny uh, Amber, yes. you should be I glad Amber. that you can't see through the unseen servant. Yeah, you you are just around the corner, so you're not. Oh like, my word! <laughs> oh okay. Oh uh, well. Okay, okay we have turned this into bygone save. Save everyone. Okay, no. everyone, make con saves. No, but you, <laughs> feel, but you feel a terrible sharp pain shoot through your body. Uh, you've been jinxed with terrible pain. You are. Essentially, your movement speed, while you are under this, your movement speed is reduced by one square, and you have minus one to ev to all your checks. What? That doesn't seem so oh, bad. Oh, that is horrible. Oh, no. Unlucky. We're all gonna die. Oh, no. My, I have seven movement speed now? It's like... It's like, I'm so slow. That said, that happened. So yes, there's a there's a flash of magic. Both you get hit, and well, everything kind of hurts. Kind of. I like it. I I, I like what Amber did there. That's Seems cool. fitting. Um. That said, let's see. It's about this. a two. Gets revealed as long as it doesn't go to 11. Okay, also, uh, oh, wait, no, it doesn't affect the AC. So... Oh, I lied, I missed a zero, it's about a 20. <laughs> no. The unseen, the unseen a servant should be fine. Well, he's mindless, so I can't imagine him needing to make an intelligence save for anything. I don't think it can feel paid, yeah. So. What? You don't think you can feel pain? Well, that's a little presumptuous of you. <laughs> so, uh, so Danny just walks in. Right here. Okay, then. Hold on. I'm gonna make sure I reveal... These R's are really helpful when it comes to <laughs> revealing stuff. Yeah, yeah oh, see, you're, you're racist against shapeless beings. <laughs> Bygong could tell that something happened, so he's urgently whispering to the others, asking him if, if they're all right and what happened. I feel better than all right. Uh, 
Amber, are you all right? Amber does not feel too, so good. Oh no. <laughs> Her monster was just defeated by the Power Rangers. Where are you next? Bike one, you should have hit the head. Come on, right. Alcina. Bike, bike one. Let's let's keep moving. This this staircase goes up, despite the fact that it clearly goes down. Don't worry about that. It's, it's opposite day. Uh, by yes. the way, was was this revealed at all? Well, no one's walked in that direction yet. Well, I mean, Dandy can so probably fix that. <laughs> It appears just to be a bizarre nook in the wall. Wow. The, whoever, the, whoever the architect of this house appears to have a weird sense of, like, space and scale and... Every room <laughs> is not room-shaped. It's like it's randomly generated. Like that. Let's see, you were there, so... I know, right? It's um, like this map was made for Dungeons and Dragons. Just don't don't think too hard about the grid. I try not to whenever I look at maps, like, especially if I look at maps of the town. Um, oh, I'm seeing over here. Oh no, Amber's in the dark. Oh, there she is. Ghosts? Oh no. Spooky. I had to read a play called Ghost once. Danny goes like, wait a minute. Is this the room? He uh, looks for the tripwire. Yeah. All right, give me a perception check. <laughs> Well, we do know that it was a windowed room, and we can probably see that there's a well, window. Well, this isn't the room, guys. Well, you don't see a tripwire. Oh, but you see this really cool uh, uh, lantern, and you, you feel the urge to go back. But a lantern is over here, so by glancing in there, you can see it. No, no, he feels it's in there. <laughs> and then he wants to walk forward without looking for any wires. Okay. Uh, Amber, do you think this is the room of the tripwire? Oh. That's what you're doing there. Yeah. Is, oh, by uh, the way, remember you get minus two on yeah, your check. You can... Wait, my minus Oh, yeah, good. you get minus one on my... So that's a five. But you can, you can uh, use your... I thought it was minus two on your checks. It's minus one. Minus oh, one, basically. Oh. I thought you said two. Hmm. I'll take one. Two was not mentioned. Can she uh, still use her inspiration? Yeah. Her bardic inspiration? Okay. Well, you probably said two get minus one. Yeah. Um, so if you, want to, if you want to make a perception or, I guess, investigation check to spot the tripwire, you're right ahead. And if you feel like you rolled low, uh, you can add another d6. <laughs> um, you know, I will say if you want to take your time to look, then yes. Although, do uh, keep in mind that uh, you have a rather impatient Lomba who's... Hey, he seems pretty calm also, now that we're going. Fair point. Also, if you have a toolkit, you can use it to disable traps with... Yes. It, uh, with proficiency. Or you, you can just we'll do that. Uh, step around it. Well, the question is advantage, but yes, go ahead. Go ahead and roll... Right, wow. that was wonderful. Okay. Oh, well, that's good enough. You sure enough. You see, you see the tripwire. It's right here. I guess. Oh, I guess you, it, you, it's you, it's green. I can see it because it's so green. Oh, that's why mm. it's not showing up. Okay. You didn't draw uh, a green line on your green square, did there you? There we go. Okay. Uh, that is with a minus oh, one, green. though. It still it still works. I, I think she only has inspiration for a limited time, so can 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 I 
Can you please use it? <laughs> you, 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 it's running out. There's a time limit. Yeah, look how I use so many of that. The Bardic Inspiration adds, what, a D6 to your result? D6 right? at this level. All right, go ahead and roll. Go ahead and add 1D6 yes. to that. You it's not actual inspiration. Extra. Don't get rid of that. Good, you... Uh, well, that cancels out the minus one. Yes, it does. But yeah, so there's the tripwire. Do we, so what do about it? You guys going in want to see if there's something worth investigating past it? There should be our our friends. Our friends. Our friend. I Bai Guang is going to fly over the tripwire. All right. It's a bit of a tight spot, but since you can see it, you can do it. You have to, um, not quite Superman style, but fairly close. I'm going to use my uh, sheep's smallness to uh, get around it. But, no. but. Smallness, huh? For those, Small. of you, for those of you land lovers, roll me a dexterity saving throw, and if you roll a one, you should set it off. <laughs> oh, saving throw! Thanks. The dexterity saving throw, and if you roll a one, you if you roll a one, you trip it. Otherwise, you're good. Basically, you better have at least plus one. Oh wait, no. I have advantage, so I'm good. Well, I'm saying if you nat one, basically. Oh yeah, nat one. I got, I got that. After. So, all right, you guys are good. Um. Well, you are you are you are in the room, and uh. This is green. You guys can see. Well, the room itself isn't active. It's the green room. And get rid of that. Vesper, put a green screen. Aww. Um, and Amber, since you were there, give me an investigation check, would you? Well, you don't see anything particular of particular interest over where you are at the moment. I presume you guys are intrigued about, or I presume you guys are in here because you're intrigued about the lantern, correct? Uh, partly that, but also because there's a trap. I figured there might be something worth hiding behind a trap. Fair enough. Well, if you want, you're free to make a perception or investigation check. Although, if you're making an investigation check, I'll ask that you pinpoint a specific uh, spot in the room to investigate. And this, of course, extends to you as well, Dan uh, Dandy. Uh, let's see. Oh, that one. All right. Check up in this corner. Lost. Rag and blast. <laughs> this, well, is, uh, this is not the investigation squad over here. Uh, yeah, it appears there's uh, not not much to be seen in this room. Gone with you guys, especially and, not not in the south corner. I mean, if uh, you know, if Corvine said there's something here, you're not seeing it. She must have been seeing things. Okay. I was pausing because I noticed that uh, Pizza was typing something, so I just was pausing to see if that was there. So what's that for, Dandy? Getting out. Oh, right, yes. In fact, uh, roll me a um, dexterity saving throw, Amber. And if, basically, we're seeing if you uh, fumble or not. Okay. No, uh... No, no gas traps are tripped. All right, that room is. So we we are nearing the foyer. Move move them up. Oh right, hold on. Yeah, is this... uh, bring bring back. Yeah, thank you. I was gonna say it looked didn't see like there's a wall there, so. 
There we go. Bring bring up here in the room for the second. Not that. And then what about this one? All right, we'll go ahead and do this. There we go. This appears to be what it was a store drew. And not much here now. I think you see, I think you see a bro there's a broken crate in the... Okay. And then... All right, uh, Dandy, put that uh, put that head back real quick, would you? Thank you. That's, that's not mine. That's that's uh, by Guang's. I mean, well, it is mine, but well, I was, I was saying I was saying that in a general sense. The head back. Um, but something happens to you, Dandy. I love it when that happens. Uh, you get polymorph to your now sheep. I, I was gonna say probably <laughs> don't want to. Zoom out into a room until we have it described to us, but as oh, no. we po polymorphed into a sheep. It's greater polymorph. Um, the is here. As you step into the room, a uh, an arrow goes flying past your head. Oh no! As You see four. You see four heavily armed, essentially uh, thugs step out of the shadows, and there's an evil grin on their face. There's an evil grin on their faces. Hmm. Perhaps he says, "I'm not welcome here." And one of them simply, one of them simply laughs. You're gonna die, boy. <laughs> well, if you were, if I wasn't in disguise, then you would know exactly why you're wrong. And uh, that's that's an initiative, please. But yeah, I was gonna say, do we want to switch to the other group? Exactly. Seems seems like a good segue. I kind of figured you were going to do it like that. 